Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Runner Drawing Channel on YouTube and today I am going to show you how to draw a teapot and I'm just doing this as a pencil drawing today just for by way of a change. Uh, let's not talk about it while I keep fiddling about with this drawing. Let's do it! Okay this teapot is it's not round, it's a bit squashed, kind of like a tangerine. Kind of a tangerine shape, and then you want this rim around the top, and its shape is going to pretty much follow the top of the curve of the teapot, like that, and then it's going to come down like that but don't don't draw a hard line all the way around and then we're going to want a line here this just comes inside of it so you get the thickness of the, the china and then the lid is just sitting inside it and will come just slightly above that, that line of the, um, the the rim at the back and then we want the, the knob on the top like that which will just kind of attach onto the so make it a little bit bigger like that okay now the front of the teapot is here so it's coming slightly slightly facing us and so the hole where the tea will come out into the spout is going to be something like that so if we can imagine so it's probably a bit higher anyway imagine it coming out like that a little kind of an S curve there and here you want a bit of a bulbous Coming to the spout, and then it will just kind of curl back on itself, just gently like that. And then, very, very carefully, you want to put in the the opening where the tea comes out. That now feels really small on the the lid. And I'm feeling that this should maybe be a little bit bigger. So I'm just changing it a little more. Uh, something like that. There we go. And then the spout, the, the handle rather, <laughs> will be coming out like that. So it's kind of flattish on the top and cuts across there. And then that will. curves around quite nicely there and you're going to get a similar curve coming in like that so this is you know it's where the hand comes through now on the bottom here we're going to want the the base coming up like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this bit here first Decided I would do this in pencil, and I'm going to rub out a good bit of that. But I can see where I've been underneath, um, and then this wants to be really dark here. And then you can give a little bit of hint of um, curvature with the with with the with the angle of the. I was going to say brush stroke, pencil strokes, <laughs> and then we're going to want similar here, and you can give a little bit of curve if you like to that, and I'm going to erase, see I don't normally do this, I'm doing this is very different, <laughs> I thought I'd do something a bit different for a change, and 
tell me if you prefer me to do pencil drawings than, than the pen and ink. very different I kind of feel like I'm not talking quite so much but then some people probably quite like that <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a bit of shading kind of down like that in there and we're gonna want to have a bit of shading underneath it and the the lid is about the same height as the the rim. I can't think of all the technical terms. It's, it's, it's the same old thing of trying to draw and talk at the same time. And some people say, I get quite a few comments saying, really just shut up. And But I feel I should be kind of talking you through it as I'm going along. <laughs> I can't win. And that's going to be kind of dark there. I've got the lightest shed of shining in this direction here. I'm turning the pencil on its side to get a, you know, a flat edge to the, the graphite. Oh, that's too much of a flat edge. Tell me in the comments box below which which you prefer me to do. <laughs> I don't know how long that's seven minutes you see. I'm gonna to have to probably edit this down quite a lot. Let's do some speeded up bits. I suppose the reason I'm uh, doing this drawing is because I love tea and I drink an awful lot of it. Uh, I think my favourite cup of tea is around about three o'clock in the afternoon. And I make a special blend of strawberry tea, which is kind of black tea with bits of strawberry in it, and Lapsang Souchong, about half a spoon each. And this just makes a really refreshing cup of tea in the afternoon. I don't have milk and I don't have sugar. So uh, perhaps that's why I like weird teas, because the sugar in the milk kind of takes it all away from you. These circles these spots rather they kind of help to give a sense of three dimensions to this so these ones here should be starting to flatten out a bit um, and these ones will be much kind of wider because you're kind of looking down on them and the, so their kind of elliptical shape will be changing the whole time and then these will be just like that and we'll have one or two on And then to put the whole thing on the table, um, we need some shadow, which will probably help to bring it alive a bit. I don't really do a lot of pencil work like this, so. Uh, so there. <laughs> uh, people use blenders and things. I don't actually own a blender. Uh, the little rolled up paper thing that uh, so you can kind of blend the shades in. Perhaps I should get one and experiment and try things like that. But this is really just kind of showing you how the shape builds up and 
So there you go, um, how to draw a teapot. Well, if you enjoyed that, I'd like you to go over to www.shoerainer.com and sign up for my newsletter, where you'll be kept informed of all the different things I'm doing, all my different projects. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.